All eyes will be on Finance Minister Inok Kodongwana this week when he tables his budget speech in Cape Town. Kodongwana's highly anticipated address comes amid the country's tough economic times with high unemployment, struggling parastatals, crippled businesses and frustrated residents due to load shedding. Despite the country's financial crunch, some economists are cautiously optimistic that Kodongwana's policy commitments will pay off in the long run. In earlier predictions, some economists had given a positive forecast for the country's finances, but load shedding continued to escalate with more than 200 days of power cuts reported last year. Since the start of this year, the country's seen power cuts every single day. This has seen the Reserve Bank revise the country's economic growth forecast for 2023 down to 0.3% from 1.1%. Economists believe plans to reduce load shedding need to be top of Kodongwana's agenda. The minister is also expected to flesh out details of how government will absorb part of Eskom's 400 billion rand debt. But Eskom is not the only state-owned company facing financial difficulties. The growing problems at Transnet are also affecting the mining industry's ability to export bulk commodities, impacting the country's economy. While Treasury is cautious about dishing out bailouts to failing SOEs, Kodongwana has called for the parastatals to develop and implement sustainable turnaround strategies, adding strict criteria would be followed to fund failing parastatals this year. The budget speech also comes at a time when South Africans are faced with rising costs of living. While President Cyril Ramaphosa announced the extension of the temporary social relief grants during his recent State of the Nation address, there are still growing calls for the introduction of a universal basic income grant. Social grants will obviously then be a hot topic. South Africans also want to know how much more taxes they'll be expected to pay. The big ones to look out for are the fuel levies and excise taxes. The bloated public service wage bill is expected to remain a contentious issue for government as some unions amplify their calls for higher wages. Overall, National Treasury admits it has the difficult task of striking a balance between competing national spending priorities and limited resources.